What's up guys, War here, and today we're going to be breaking down all the basics for an intro guide for Path of Exile. Let's get it. So guys, Path of Exile, or P-O-E as it's abbreviated for, is an ARPG that is just a hack and slash, just full game of delight. So I'm still a fairly a new player and I wanted to bring a beginner's guide to you, all the brand new players that are switching over from Diablo 4 to Path of Exile. So today, let's get right into the basics. So Path of Exile, just like any other ARPG, is a hack and slash and we're gonna be using different classes and abilities and strong powers to just defeat every single monster on these maps. So to get started, you're gonna have a class and you're gonna have a different league to be in. So let's break everything down. Let's go into uh, the classes here. Let's go to create. When you start off in a brand new game of Path of Exile, you're going to have a league or seasons as it's called. It's called leagues. You're gonna have three different leagues to pick from. You're gonna have your standard league, which is basically like your eternal realm. You're gonna have the seasonal league, which is highlighted by the affliction, which is the seasonal theme. Or you're gonna have hardcore affliction, which is just like a standard hardcore, where if you die, you're dead, that's it, done, it's over. Um, now, when it comes to the leagues, I would stick with the affliction league, which is just a brand new seasonal league. And it is softcore, as for those ARPG veterans out there or new players, softcore just means when you don't, when you die, your character is not deleted forever like it is in hardcore. It, you'll still have your character in everything. Now, solo self-pound is an option that's made where you cannot trade with other players in the game or online. And then there's the ruthless mode, which makes softcore slightly harder because now items are a lot harder to find. And, you know, other changes like to your gear and stuff is harder to get. Now, once you pick a league, you're going to be able to come in here and you're going to be able to create a character. Now, you have six different character classes that you're going to be able to pick from. You're going to have the witch, which is your spellcaster. This is going to be your necromancer type based class we're going to be using intelligence as your base stat next you're going to have your ranger which is kind of like your demon hunter type this is going to be a very fast and swift character that uses bows as well as melee weapons to destroy their enemies next you have the marauder which is your first tank or strength based class that's going to be using just allow you to stay alive as long as possible you deal really good damage but you are just an absolute tank in this game now those are your base classes and now we're going to look at the couple hybrid classes which is going to kind of go back and forth between the two so the first one you have is a duelist which is kind of between a marauder as well as a ranger where you're going to have the mobility and then the, just the straight damage and tankiness then you have the shadow which is going to be your mix between spellcaster and ranger which is going to be more like your witch and your you know the ranger class where your speed you can cast spells and you're going to be able to have some really good damage output with this class then you have the templar which is a mix between the marauder and the witch which is kind of like your paladin type class very holy you're going to be able to cast spells as well as be super tanky in the game and just deal a lot of elemental damage right and then last but not least is the brand new class that came out a while ago is the scion which is a mix between a bunch of different things i don't have too much experience with this but it is a really really cool class if you want to try it it is pretty advanced though just to forewarn now i do want to mention that with all the character classes in the game they are non-customizable as well as their gender cannot be changed however you will be able to change the appearance of your character just like i have my character here which is going to be in the form of cosmetics which you can get uh, in the you know poe shop the game is completely free so it will cost you know money to get these packs and you can change anything as far as your armor your weapon skill effects and etc but all of this will be able to customize your character you won't be able to do it internally in the game Now, once you start the game, it is pretty self-explanatory. It's very, very easy to get going. So I don't want you to be overwhelmed with anything in the game. To start off, you're gonna start with this conversation. You're gonna pick up the rusted sword, which is gonna be your very first gear piece. We're gonna skip all the tutorials and we're gonna be able to kill this guy right here, which is gonna introduce you to the very first aspect of the game, which is skill gems. So I into your inventory, skill gems, we're gonna skip all tutorials. Skill gems are how you use your skills in Path of Exile, okay? In order to use the skill, this is double strike, we're gonna have to equip it into our weapons. 
Each weapon here has a color for a socket and the color coordinated with the skill green versus green is where you can put it. You can see that the red is actually grayed out. So you're gonna put this in here and you're gonna notice down here that double strike is now available to, to be used. If I take the skill out, it is gone. So that is how you equip your skills and they're gonna be interchangeable as you advance through the game. When you get to the end of the beach, you're gonna fight this guy, Hillock. And don't forget to use your potions highlighted down here for life and well as mana. That's your life, that's your mana. Mana is used for your skills, and then of course life is pretty obvious. If you die, when your life hits zero, and you stay alive while you still have life. Then when you kill Will Lock, you're gonna be introduced to your very first skill point. So you're gonna press P, and you're gonna open up your very first skill point, and this is what we call the skill web of Path of Exile. This is gonna be a very, very, very overwhelming aspect of the game where a lot of players just really leave because they don't know what to do. However, each of these coordinating nodes here, these big ones, is where your character and class will be highlighted and pretty much you can use any skill or passive skill node in this web. You're gonna start from a base here and you're gonna be able to add points. You have one point and I can add this anywhere I can have a connecting node. Now, I will mention that once you start to use the skill tree, it seems overwhelming, but just like anything in any ARPG, once you continue to level up your character and just start on a path, it's going to be very, very, you know, prevalent and like very, very easy to use. A lot of things that you want to look for when you're first starting out is just like these beginner nodes where you're getting increases to life, armor, or defenses, as well as attack damage. Okay, and you can see that this says attack to physical damage, increase the physical attack damage. If we go into our inventory and look at our gem, you can see that it says attack, melee, strike, and physical, which means that our double strike skill is a physical uh, attack. So if we took this node here, we would get 14 increased life and then 14% more increased damage. It's pretty straightforward. I would definitely advise using a guide when you're first starting out. Now, speaking of defenses, when it comes to defenses, we're gonna pick up all these items here. When it comes to defenses, there are three different types of defenses. You have energy shield, which is a shield that's going to be put here in front of your life total, meaning that you're going to take energy shield damage first, and then you're going to take life damage. Then you have what's called evasion, if I have one, which I don't have one. There's evasion, which just allows you to dodge attacks so you don't actually get hit. And then there's one like this plate vest, which is armor, which is going to reduce the physical damage that you take. The next set of defenses, as you can see on your character sheet here, is your resistances. Path of Exile has four resistance types in fire, cold, lightning, and chaos. The max resistance is 75% on these when you get to the end game. So while you're leveling up, it's just best to get items that increase your defenses, meaning armor and your resistances. Get the corresponding resistances and try to and level those up and improve those to get those to 75% as fast as possible. When it comes to weapons, it's pretty easy in an ARPG. It is really straightforward. You're just looking at DPS in the game. So how to do that is to hover over your current skill that you're using and you will see that it says DPS 16.5. Now, if we take the skill out and we put it in a brand new weapon that we got and we equip it, and then we hover it over it again, you're gonna see that it says 25.2 DPS. The mana cost is gonna remain the same, and that is gonna tell us that we're doing more damage with this weapon as opposed to this weapon. A quick way is to just go ahead and hover. You can actually compare the two and just see the physical damage. Straight up four to nine damage or five to 11. In theory, you could tell that that will be the way to increase it, but if you wanna know for sure, just put the skill in the new weapon and hover over your skill on your bar, and you will see that it has more damage there. Just do that all the way through the campaign. Now, the next big thing is currency in the game. Okay, currency, Path of Exile does not use a straight base currency in the game. They use absolutely everything. So they don't use gold. They don't use just a flat baseline for currency. In Path of Exile, you have a lot of different currency that you guys can use uh, to you, you know, to be able to buy, sell, and trade items, as well as craft and create items in the game. Now, I will say most notably that Chaos Orbs are the baseline um, currency in the game. However, all of this stuff is what we can use to trade, sell, and create and buy new items in the game. So do not be overwhelmed with getting a bunch of things. I would just advise you to pick up absolutely all currency like this when you get it. 
And that, guys, is the intro to Path of Exile for brand new beginners just like myself. I played in the previous league for about a month, and I'm only a few weeks into this league, and I'm having an absolute blast. So we have a beginner series that we're starting on here for all brand new beginners into Path of Exile. So if you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you guys are new, and turn on notifications, and comment down below. Let me know if you're a brand new player in Path of Exile coming over from the games like Diablo or other ones in ARPGs like that, like Ark or even um, Last Epoch, stuff like that. Let me know down in the comments below. And as always, stay gaming. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.